There were a lot of new items added to the gem store today, and actually a lot of them are very good. So let's take a quick look at all of them, and see if they are worth it or not. The first one we will look at is the Shrine Guardian Outfit. And you can find the same outfit, but this time as a part of a full package that includes the outfit, with a mini Shrine Guardian, this is not the Shrine Guardian mount, this is a mini. And they also have a weapon choice of Onyx and Gold Lion ones. With a die kit of Crimson Lion, you will have 5 dies. And a total makeover kit, all of which will cost 1500 gems. You can also find 2 helmet skins that are a stand alone and they are basically the same ears on the Shrine Guardian outfit. And then we have what is probably one of the most famous and best mount skins in game, the Shrine Guardian Jackal skin. Next we have a bundle that contains a total of 3 unlimited gathering tools that will have the Glyph of Unbound built in them. You should keep in mind, as you will probably notice on the screen now, that the logging tool and the mining tool are one of the fastest if not the fastest in game. And so even if you have no use for the unbound glyph itself, and you have enough gems and you care about the gathering speed, then those tools will be good for the speed, not necessarily for the glyphs in them. You should also know that those glyphs are account bound. So if you bought the tools, you will not be able to extract those glyphs and then sell them on the trading post for example. So again, I would recommend getting this tool only if you care about the gathering speed and you have enough gems of course. The unbound glyph itself is not a very important one. And then we have the exact same thing, but this time for volatile magic. We have a package that contains an unlimited 3 gathering tools that will have the glyph of volatility built in them. If you don't know what those glyphs are, I have a video guide that explains the entire glyph system and also mention which are the best ones to use. And if you have already watched that video, then you know that glyph of volatility is probably one of the most glyphs you can have in game. And if you find yourself doing a lot of gathering and you want some extra profit with it, then you can get this tool which will include again a total of 3 unlimited gathering tools with volatile glyphs in them. As for the speed, they are also still one of the fastest in game. They will be slightly behind the unbound one, but they are still faster than most. So I would highly recommend this package because you get a lot of value. You have 3 unlimited gathering tools that are very fast, maybe not the fastest in game, but one of the very fast ones, and they will have glyph of volatility in them. And as of the time I'm recording this video, each glyph of volatility costs about 400 gold if you are going to buy it on its own. However, although this bundle is a very valuable one, you should only ever consider it, first of all, if you have a lot of gems and a lot of gold you can spend, and if you find yourself doing a lot of gathering and you want to make the best benefit out of it. I will show the animations now one last time on its own. By the way, I would absolutely love to show you all those skins and stuff in game with my actual character. But unfortunately I will not be able to do so just yet because I don't really have that much gold or gems at this point. My playtime is limited, which means I'm not able to make that much gold, and I don't have that much gems to spare either. But I'm sure in the future, I should be able to do something like this and give you much better guides when I do those gem store update videos. Next we have a Shrine Guardian Backpack and Glider Combo. This is what the backpack looks like. And this is what the glider looks like.
Next, we have a long bow and a short bow shrine guardian skins. They both look exactly the same, there is no difference between them. And of course, they also have the glowy particle effects around the weapon. Exactly like the glowy particle effects that are floating around your character when you have the shrine guardian outfit. Now we will look at some items, I am not exactly sure when they were added, but they are still very much worthy of showing. There's a frost fire outfit. Primeval Dervish Outfit Arcane Outfit Imperial Outfit Noble Outfit Ice Encasement Outfit White Feather Backpack and Glider Glacial Chair There's a Herald of Urin Cape and Herald of Urin Outfit. We also have another set of unlimited gathering tools, this time it's called Spirit of the Wild. Their animation looks cool, but I believe they are also slow. And they have three built-in glyphs. You have the industry on the mining tool, leather work on the logging tool, and flight on the harvesting one. Now keep in mind that those glyphs are interchangeable, so you can remove them from one tool and use it on the other. And you can even completely take them out and use it on a completely different set of tools. But again, they are account bound. Glyph of industry is also one of the best glyphs to use for speed, and they are currently selling at about 310 gold on the trading post. Glyph of Zerzel Worker is also one of the more profitable glyphs to use, and I also mention it and speak about it in details in my other glyphs videos. And they are currently for about 270 to 80 gold on the trading post. Next, we will look at some items that we can add to our home instance. And remember, just like any other home instance stuff, you should only buy it for convenience, not necessarily for profit, because it will take you a very long time to come anywhere close to breaking even with the price you will pay for the item. The first one is a Black Lion Hunter's contract. This will send you a mail once per day that will contain some items that you can choose from. As you can see, you have a choice of bones, clothes, dust and such. You choose the item you want, you get one mail per day, and it will send you whatever you chose of different tiers. For example, let's say you chose files of blood. Then you will get a mail that will contain a random amount of blood varying from tier 1 to tier 6. And of course, the tier 6 item is not a guaranteed send, just like all the other tiers. It will just be random between all tiers. You should also keep in mind that you can only buy one per account. So for example, you cannot buy five and then choose different five items to be sent. And this only can be used by the instance owner. So if you are someone that always try to invite people to your home instance, they will not be able to use this and they will not get a mail. The mail will be sent to you automatically every day at the daily reason. Next we have another item that works in a very similar way, but this time it will send you cloth or leather and such. And again, you will choose which one do you want, and it will send you a mail daily that will contain those materials in tiers of a random amount. And then we have the Season 3 Expedition Contract, which again will send you a daily mail, but this time you will select which Season 3 material do you want. For example, if you selected Bloodstone Fen, then it will send you blood rubies every day in the mail. 
Exact same thing with season 4 expedition contract. But obviously this time it will give you a choice of living season 4 materials. For example, if you choose Dragonfall, then it will send you a daily mail on Reset that will contain some Mistborn modes. I am personally one of the people that is working on getting a full home instance, and so whenever I have a chance, I work on adding those kind of stuff to my home instance. I'm already working on my next guide and it should be available in few days. So make sure to subscribe and enable the notifications to see more guides and to know when they are posted. Thank you very much for watching.